and we are back from our hike. Uh, today we are going to draw one of the 4x4 uh, Suzuki's that was in the race. Um, wasn't our typical hike out in the out in nature. It was the hike itself was going around finding a place to set up our chairs and barbecue. So anyway, uh, let's get right into it. Um, what I want to do is basically draw a square. Um, and that's going to be pretty much where the drawing's going to go. And let's see. I actually don't really like drawing cars, so this is, might not turn out very well, but uh, I'm going to give it a shot here. So the next thing I kind of see here, let's put, put a line kind of right through the middle here. And that's where I'm going to want the headlights. So they're going to be about a third of the way over. And so let's go ahead and do, I'm going to do a rectangle here. And then within that rectangle, I'm going to put two circles. And that's going to be our headlights. So um, let's see here. Up. A little from that we want our windshield and it's gonna be something like like this so let's put a little rectangle here more or less okay uh, let's see I'm gonna go ahead and connect connect these with a line um, Let's see, let's, what I want to do, I want to put a little rectangle right in here for now. And then let's go ahead and throw our first tire here, which basically I just want to draw a circle, but it's a little more skewed, so it's going to be more of a rectangle or a, an oval. And then what I'm going to do, so we've got this one, and then what I'm going to do is come from right about here, and I do the same the same arc as this one and it kind of joins in in the ground here and then so I'm not really getting this exactly the way I want it but and then what we do is we do another circle in the center in this case we'll do a half oval and if I were to you know connect these lines it would be something like this and that's that would be our wheel um, so let's see, let me go over and we'll kind of, from the center of this light, we want the tire kind of starts here. So it kind of goes a little below what this one is. And so let's, let's see, it goes up to about there and then. So I guess if I'm if this is a shape, it's it's an oval, and I'm kind of squaring it off a little bit already here, 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 and then there, and then what you see here is we're gonna do a little half arc like that, and then do do another half arc like that. So it's almost like a pickle or something right in here that. If we do a couple of more lines like this, it starts looking like the inside of that wheel well. And that's all I want to do for now. I want to I get the rest of this truck in here. So uh, from about here, we've got to, let's see, let me see if I can sketch some of this in here real quick. Let's do something like that. Okay. Uh, let me get that back tire in there. So from about this point in the front tire, we see the bottom of the back tire. And that's going to be coming up more or less like that. And we're going to do the same kind of tricks here on the inside of that tire. OK. And from about here to here, we're going to do 
this bar here, and it's really, it, I mean, it, I'm angling this, but it's really just a rectangle for the most part. Okay, now I want to get in these little mud flaps on the tires. So let's do a line up, and then it, I'm trying to think about this here. Let's do, let's just do a little trapezoid, if that's the word here. Okay. So we do something like that, and then what it, what it really does is it curves. It's got a curve here on this corner, and then it comes up and then it curves here on this corner. And we get a flat top, and then we get the same curve we did here. We want to put here, and then it's going to come over there. And then this comes down, it looks like that. So we lose, now we can't see this pipe that we put in here, but we still can see this portion of it. So uh, let's see, let's do the back flap. So right above this pipe comes another curve on this corner. You know, we can do another trapezoid here. Let's just do the same trick. So it's got a curve here, curve here, like that, and then it almost just a little triangle here and then I'm just going to shade that in all right and let's see the back of the truck kind of goes like that so let's just put that in okay there's no door on this thing uh, so let's see this is going to be a little tricky right about I'm not going to draw the seat belt but I'm going to draw door frame so let's just put a couple of lines in there and all right so then from this point we want to connect here more or less it's just going to be the back of the truck bed the jeep or it's a suzuki um okay then from the windshield we're gonna have a line going like that all the way down into about the middle of the wheel well, so something like that. Okay. And then these connect something up here. So let's just connect those. All right, now this uh, top of the windshield actually has a slight curve to it, so I'm gonna just try and do like that. I can't really get my arm, the angle with the camera here, but uh, I probably want to do something a little more like that, but okay. And then that windshield angles down, and then they have looks like a little cover on the windshield here. So I don't want to get into all the detail of the equipment on the on the car, but I do want to make it look like a car so we want the wheels we want the headlights we want the um, windshield let's go ahead and kind of pencil in where the it's almost in the middle seat seats are gonna be something like that And then I'm going to come back in later and just basically fill these in with black. Uh, and one trick you can just do is kind of put some X's there and that reminds you to come back. But uh, I'll just do it right now real quick here. Okay, so there's our seats. Uh, steering wheel, can't really see it too much, but it's going to be about here. So there's a little, a little arc there. Uh, we've got... So it's got this big Suzuki sticker on the on the windshield, so I'm just gonna put a line there. I'm not gonna put all the letters in. That just take too long. Okay, let's do something like that. Alright. Uh let's see, let's do a little bit here, a little curve here. Um try and speed this up. Do something like that. And then let's flesh this in a little bit. 
get a line in there. All right. Uh, so now I see a triangle here, kind of coming this little section here. So we'll do that. And then I see another triangle kind of coming this way. So we've got one triangle there with a little curve here and then another triangle there. And you can see that this is a little bit shaded, so I'm just going to shade it like that. And then this uh, is not going to be perfect, but we do something like this, a little rectangle here. And a line here, and then I'm going to throw a little more shade there. All right, and then I'm probably going to do the same on this side since it's kind of like this this side of the Jeep will have a little bit more shade. All right, another little triangle here, something like that. Let's just go ahead and get some shade there. And you can see there's there is that same line kind of doing that, something like that. Can't really see it. Uh, I'm going to put another line here in the front kind of show where the bending of the metal is on the hood. That's not really coming out very well. All right. Um, at this point, I might use a little circle template, which uh, I would make the circles, you know, a lot cleaner. But for the sake of time, let's just do it by hand. Put a little square going around there. Uh, same thing over here. A square going around that. Um, then what we've got is we've got a bunch of, let me grab a rope for this, we got a bunch of lines kind of going like this. So we just do something like this for now. And I'm not going to put uh, Suzuki in here and uh, try and keep this video size down, but it gets complicated in here, so I'm going to take some liber artistic liberties, you might say, and just kind of... Let's just put this little bar in the front here. Let's do something like this. And I really don't like using rulers and I should I'm gonna switch pens for this because it's gonna get the thicker line is gonna help me um, differentiate so that this bar kind of comes out on its own. All right, so here's what I want to do. I see a triangle here that kind of goes up and down. So we've got so we've got this triangle. So let's it's a bar, so let's flesh, you know, thicken that up. Got a little rounded uh point there. And then we've got another thinner bar kind of going like this. So let's do that and kind of merge that. All right, let's see this. Same thing over here. Something like that. Um, let's see, let me get a circle here. And there's a hook coming here. So let's just put another couple half circles and then Let's see, so this kind of comes down like that. And I just fill this in with black where the hook kind of hooks into. And okay, then we've got a little rope and a knot and a little, and then another knot. And then let's see, another something like that. And then we've got this little. Uh, U-shape thing here, so let's, you know, and really there's just shapes, I mean, circles, rectangles, um, all right, now I'm looking at this little complicated area, I see it, let's do a little rectangle here, and then I see a triangle kind of coming out like that, and another triangle coming out like that. And I'm doing this so fast that the placements of these are not really um, where they should be. But let's see, my pipe bar going here. And then there's another bar 
that kind of does something like this. Let's see, another bar underneath this. Okay. Again, I don't really care to draw cars, but uh, a lot of straight angles. You know, you, you really should use a ruler for a lot of this, but um, with the camera right here, it's hard for me to use both hands on the drawing. Uh, and then it gets really complicated down here. So I'm just going to start putting in some crossbars, some shapes, some cylinders, um, and and just kind of making stuff up, really. Um, and then what I probably want to do is ink in some blacks because that'll kind of give us a little depth down in this area. We won't really have to pay too much attention to it. You know, uh, the point is at first glance, it'll look like a Jeep or like a Suzuki. And it's kind of, you know, that's what we're really going for. So let's just. Do something like that, and let's see this kind of curves. Boy, it does get complicated under here, so let's do another little cylinder here, and another little thing there. Uh, let's do right, this another. And more bars and ugh. okay, something like that. All right, now let's go back to the tires here. Um, these tires, you, you know, you really want to spend some time because of the tracks. You know, it's like this is this is not good, but you know, there are squares and rectangles on these things that kind of give it that 4x4 four four feel, so that's kind of what we're shooting for. So let's just do something like this. Alright, and it's so dirty I can't even see the track. You know, usually there's, who knows, something going on under here. And The, the old saying is, when in doubt, black it out. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm going to do <laughs> on these tires. I'm not even referencing the image right now. I'm just kind of... Uh, I know that we need some treads here, so put in some... So you've got the undulations here, bam, 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 bam. You know, and that's enough to give us that 3D feel. And uh, let's see. And since these are dirty, I'm going to make them dirty. Let's just kind of just muddy this up a little bit. back tire it's gonna quickly give it a little detail all right uh, getting close to being you know done enough for what I want to do with this but uh, let's see we've got another little rectangle here for the snorkel and 
rectangle cylinders you know we're not much to that let's do something like that okay and that's that darken these seats in a little bit and let me take one final look. I'll go ahead and put an antenna in there. And let's see. Yeah. It's looking pretty good to me, I guess. Uh, a little more definition on the headlights here. It's kind of an important feature that lets you know that it's a car, so we want to make that stand out. And then I might try and go in and just thicken these uh, vents up here. The air intake. All right, I think that's about what I'm gonna do. On that, and okay, uh, that's about it for the drawing. Uh, thanks for joining me today, and. Um, go ahead over to trepcomic.com. That's my comic book, that graphic novel that I'm hoping to print this year. Uh, you can check out some of my illustrations over there. And I uh, hope to see you guys next week on Hike, Find, Draw.